Hey guys, what's going on? I am going to show you how I set up and prep for painting. As you see, this is the paint layout that I've been doing and it ends, if you look up in here, it ends right here. Well, I don't like that. So I'm going to extend this line right here, bring it right down this edge here and this edge over here to um, blend it in better. Then I'll keep this piece black. This will all be black so you'll have that black line going all the way down into the air vent. And this piece right up in here will be red. So let me take this off. All you have to do is pull this back. Sorry. Thing has started behind me. Um, take these two out and lift it up a little bit and these bars will pull out. And then I can bring it inside and get ready to prep it and spray it. Talk to you guys in a minute. Bye popped up these two rivets right here and then this lid will just pick up just a little bit and this will slide right out there's the tabs um, so now I will just tape it off I'll show you that I gotta clean it sand it a little bit you know just rough it up and show you what I'll do to it it is nasty on the bottom talk to you guys in a little bit all right so I got everything ready here's the part um, I used the green scotch bright it is fairly light as in course wise um, and I'm just going to come to the edge here you don't want to come down on here because that's going to be black I don't want to scuff that up so I'll just come right to the edge here scuff this up a little bit right to this edge um, then you use a real thin so you can curve it a little bit and everything painters tape right along the edge and I'll show you all this as I go along on both sides and then I will wrap the blue around the side I make sure to go all the way around when I paint, um, especially on this side. I will scuff it and scuff all up underneath here and clean it real well because I want the paint to wrap around. I do not want it to just end at the edge. That's a good place to get a chip or a peel. So if you wrap it all the way up underneath, when you paint, it's one solid um, piece of paint. You know, like you know what I'm saying. That way you don't have an edge, especially right there at the tank where it pulls towards you. Um, you don't want to be catching this edge right here and making a chip or a peel. All right, so that's where I'm at. And so those are the two tapes I use. And this is the paint. Everybody's been asking about it. This is the Rust-Oleum 2X. And it has primer in it, but I don't trust it. Um, I've got a little bit in each one of these. This is where I was doing the panel parts on the front end and then this is the print uh, primer so I'll do two light coats of the primer and then probably two coats of the red and remember what I was saying in one of my videos that you do not want to go longer than an hour before you do a coat if you go past an hour do not paint until about 48 hours not about definitely 48 hours or longer if you do something with the chemistry and the paint and it will um, give you orange peel it'll crack it and everything else so every 10 minutes you can do a real light coat um, even right you know the primer and then do light coats of your red every 10 minutes 15 minutes that's fine but once that's the last coat whatever you're putting on dries and it's been drying for more than an hour so you run to the store and come back do not paint it wait 48 hours I made that mistake a long time ago when I was learning and so that's it one of my tips I will talk to you guys later so I'll give you an idea of my sanding I actually got my son holding the camera for me um, and you just want to scuff it up you can see a little bit of difference I'm hoping and then I will go take it and give a good bath of soap and water to get all the um, dirt off it and oils you want to definitely get all the oil off of it And you don't have to get that close to the edge where you're going to be taping because um, you definitely don't want to go over it'll look like garbage so what? I'm saying just watch where you're aiming the camera my little guy's doing a great job and that's the other thing try to involve your kids in this um, the one thing I always try to do is better than what my dad did with me um, some dads are just awesome and you have no problem but if you remember things when you're a child and you didn't like it don't do that with your kids do better
you can break the mold. You can break that routine. Um, and I just want to jack slap dads that when the moms go out with their girlfriends or go somewhere and they say, oh, I got to watch the kids. No, you're not watching the kids. You're being a parent. Oh, God forbid you're a parent and you can't sit and watch your game on TV or you can't do what you want to do. That's not watching your kids. You're not a babysitter. That's your kid. Um, that's called parenting, okay, if you didn't understand that. If you beg to differ, then you're more than welcome to leave a comment below, please. That's all you want to do is just scuff it up a little bit. You don't want to sand the, the, the life out of it. Now we'll go inside, give it a good washing, and that's it. Talk to you guys in a bit. All right, it's done drying. Um, back. Now we're going to do this guy. I'm going to try to do my best right here to show you while I am videotaping. But you can see the edge right here, and that's where I want that to end. So we're going to try to get that right on the edge. It's very difficult at this angle. Okay, we don't like that angle. Let's try turning it around. That way I can see it perfect like this. There's not much of an edge, so it is tricky to stay on that angle. that does. There we go. So you can see there's just barely a little edge right there. You want to stay on that. Um, it's very difficult because if you get one little shadow, it wants to wander. I just catch the edge first where I want it and I don't care about the wrinkle because the wrinkle is going to be covered by all the other tape anyway um, but my main priority is getting this edge where I want it and you can see it's getting all little tape on there and all that it's no big deal and wrap it underneath um, so let me get this under here. And get this guy go under here. But I don't want it to go too far this way right here because I want this to come red up under here. Like I say, and wrap that color around here. That way you don't have that edge where it ends right here. Um, and that's it. So I'll just check it and make sure the edge is where I want it to be, you know, the seam. And I got this guy coming that way. I don't want that. I want him to go straight down. So we will bend him like that. See how it goes straight? I want that to go straight down. Even though it's only, I'll only be able to see that, I'll still know. Same with this side. I want that to go straight down just like that. And let me make sure my alignment is correct here. Pretty darn close. If you look right there, it is pretty, pretty close right on that edge. And let me get that edge a little bit better. Like I said, it takes, takes time to get your taping and your prep. And take your time on it. Because if you do the taping wrong or don't cover everything exactly right, it's going to look like garbage. Um, and I use a, a regular recyclable nap. There's like McDonald's or whatever, or where, you know, one of the fast food. Do not use a dish towel or anything like that to wipe it down. You could use a cheesecloth. I have some of those on the shelf or this. This is not the best because it does have lint in it. It's a small piece, so I could just blow it off. Um, use cheesecloth that'd be the best bet but this works great do not use a dish towel or a home towel because if your wife or you put um, laundry detergent or the fabric softener in it it will actually leave an oily residue and then you're putting the oil right back on your part so do not use that all righty so that looks taped off there now I'm just gonna wrap this piece here with some more tape and get back to you I don't want to bore you with that simple 
and then this whole thing will be primer gray and I'm going to actually come up this way too um, so I do not get that all covered in red so that's it I don't care about the underside I could take it off but I want to use these as handles to hold on to so I don't have to touch this part but that's it that's how you work it I mean it's pretty self-explanatory the main key is to sand it lightly you can see it's a little scuffed and wrap your corners with the paint so you do not leave an edge right here where it can get picked at you know edge could get picked up and chipped off and primer do not go over an hour you can go over an hour if you're continuously painting but their last coat whatever you're putting on if that goes drying more than an hour you got to wait over 48 hours or else you'll get orange peel it has something to do with the chemicals in paint all right talk to you guys in a bit hold on all right so i got it all taped off as you see here um, being it's a small piece i am just in the shed i'm going to just spray it but i put the hook on it um mainly to when i spray under here i don't want to put that down on the table and it get on you know the, the table i sprayed this blew this all off there's no lint <laughs> looks good so we're ready to go but you gotta make sure you get primer all up in here and all around this edge here so, and i'll show you just real quick i'm not going to bore you with the paint you guys know how to do this see and that's it nice light coats you don't want to overdo it see and you want to get all up on that edge there because you want to wrap it Like I said, I wanted to use these brackets right here, the handles, rails, to use it as a holder. Look at that. Now we'll just wait a little bit because that's real thin. Um, it's a little humid today, so you got to let it dry a little bit longer. But you can see where it's not really coating all the way, but that's fine. Um, you don't want it to coat all in one shot. There's a chance of a run or something like that. So just let that dry. And it also dries quicker with that 10 minutes or so if you don't overdo it. All right, I'll get back to you as soon as this dry. And I'll do another coat until I start the red. Then I'll come back on when I start the red. Talk to you in a bit. All right, so it's all primered up, all dried. I'll let it dry. Small, light coats of the red. I already do a test shot. So you want to do nice and light. Do not plan on covering it all in one spray. Now take it off of there and get it all up underneath. Keep your distance. I'm not going to teach you how to spray paint. There's plenty of videos out there. Um, like shares. They spray them lizards, lizards, but you definitely want to just do light coat, and that's it, right there. Let that dry for 10 minutes, come back, hit it some more. I'll probably do probably two, maybe three coats on it, and then we'll be all done. Hey guys, um, almost done. That's two coats right there. I'll probably do one more, but it's looking good. I got some really good coverage on it, and it's looking nice. Looks like a pendulum though, swimming, swinging. So anyway, that's it. That's two coats. I will show it to you when it's finished and I take all the tape off. Um, but it's real easy. Just got to prep it. You know, just sand it, wash it real good, get all the dust off it, tape it the way you want it. Um, and then just do nice, light, distant coats about six, seven inches away. Not too far. You don't want to get more paint in the air than you do on your product or your part. Um, so maybe six inches away is good, but just keep it moving. Do not stay still. Um, go back and forth. Start before you hit the part and then swoop across. You know, go pan across it, then start here and then come back. Start here, go back. Don't start right on it and go because that'll be the thicker part right here. So start out here and go across. That was your lesson for painting. <laughs> Anybody have any other ideas or tips on that? Please give them, you know, in the comments below. Um, I'm no expert in any of this, trust me. I am not an expert in painting or motorcycles, anything like that, it's just everyday life. Okay guys, like always, um, 
simple. Got the tape off. You can see where I went around the tip right here <coughs> to make sure it joins and same with the back right up in here. Um, but nice clean even lines. You get that tape down real nice and it will um, give you a nice sharp line. I gotta take the blue off but I'm gonna wait a little bit on that um, down here on the handles. I'm going to bring it inside in the air conditioning where it will dry better. It's only been about an hour, um, but it's because it's real humid. Okay, it's past humid. It's flipping raining again. Every weekend we get rain. This is it. Beautiful rainy skies. So, anyway, that's what it looks like. I'll show it to you when I get it back on the bike when it stops <laughs> raining, hopefully tomorrow or later today but I want this to dry the rest of the day <clears throat> okay guys here it is on the bike um, I've got the cover still on it because it is raining out a little bit just started raining this morning um, but yeah just let it dry here's the black stripe I'll show it to you better when I can take the whole cover off the bike because I did not bring it in the garage or down in the back anyway that's it that's what she looks like. Got the black stripe coming all the way from the front vent all the way down the back to the back uh, gas tank. All right, guys. I will talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the video. And thank you for watching.